What's up? What's up? This microphone does things to me. Like when I have a microphone in my hand, you know I'm gonna be the most annoying bitch on planet Earth. What's up? Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi. Hey, today I'm going to be telling you about all the crushes that I've had. Obviously, I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. So you know I've had a ton of crushes and I'm severely annoying about it always. I saw Jazzy Ann do this video. Go check it out. It was so good. So good that I was like, okay, I need to do that now. So I am completely copying her. Let's get into it. I guess there's no more intro to do. I'm just gonna be telling you about all the crushes I've had. Well, um, most of them. Not all of them. I'm not counting one specific person <laughs> because the thing about crushes is you have to like the person. So by the definition of like a crush, um, I cannot include this person. So I'm so sorry. You're probably watching this video right now and you're like, I'm so excited to see what this girl has to say about me. And it's nothing. I have nothing to say about you. Boyfriend. Okay, let's get into it. Ugh, my first crush. These are in chronological order, by the way. First up, I almost said his name. Wow, we're off to a great start. So this was in like elementary school. Think like fourth or fifth grade. This was the boy every girl had a crush on. Like out of a factory. Brown curly hair, freckles, like cute. Would I consider this my first crush? Probably. I feel like all my friends at the time knew I had a crush on him. My mother even knew I had a crush on this kid. He actually had a crush on my best friend at the time. And like everyone in the grade knew. Everyone shipped them. This was the the time of like OTPs, they were everyone's OTP. Do you remember what an OTP is? One true pair. I was screwed, all right? I was like, this is not gonna work out. But she knows I like him, so that's my girl right there. She has my back. She knows I like him. She's gonna put me first as her best friend. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Someone posted a picture of them together after school hanging out. I was like, no, that can't, that can't be, that can't be my best friend with my crush. There's no way. Oh yes, there is way. She didn't tell me, but she also liked him. Oh my God, I just remembered something I did. I was with my friend group at lunch and comes and sits down next to me and I'm like, oh my God. He totally does like me. He's into me like, oh my, like, oh my God, this is my chance. I don't remember how this came about, but all I remember is I told him that I was on my period. Just casually, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not like a regular girl. I'm a cool girl who's on her period right now. He looked at me mortified, and I don't remember the next time we spoke to each other. We stayed, you know, acquaintances, because our moms are buddies. Up until, like, middle school, we were chill with each other. But, um, he definitely did not like me. <laughs> and that's also kind of where my crush dried out. Okay, moving on. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This was my first all life consuming crush. All I thought about, I was like, this is it. This is gonna be my first boyfriend. This is pivotal for my life and my development as a woman. The crush was mostly in sixth grade, but like it kind of slipped into seventh grade. We were in band together. That's where this crush blossomed. We played the same instrument. I feel like I'm giving too many details, but I don't give a f I don't care. I don't care. I played the trumpet, so did he. Another thing to know about this guy, this kid was like openly a fan of Logic, which so brave. I commend you for being so brave, but you know me. I'm like, okay, you clearly like Logic, so guess what? Guess who's now a fan of Logic? Me! Yeah, I became a Logic fan. I learned too many of his songs. Um, <laughs> my fave Logic songs, thank you for asking. Super Mario World, banger. Like, whoa, most definitely. Yeah, that's those are my faves. But I do know more. And I hate to admit that, but I do. And this was around the time of, oh my god, comment if you want a TBH. TBH means to be honest. I remember he posted on Instagram, comment if anyone wants a TBH. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna comment because I'm curious. I'm curious to see what he has to say about me. So I come in, I'm like, me, <laughs> I gotta get the picture. You know damn well I took a screenshot of this and haven't deleted it. This was like the biggest moment of my life. I was like, no boy has openly ever said anything like this to me before. Um, I've peaked. 2015 on an iconic selfie of myself. I never posted selfies on Instagram at this point. So it was really bold of me to post this selfie of myself in my Bethany Moda Aeropostale shirt. Thank you very much. So he commented on my photo, TBH. We are in advisory together. That's like study hall. He was 
saying that we were in study hall together. I don't know if you could count that as like something you're honest about or if it's just a fact. Anyways, we'll carry on. You're so funny and relatable and just fun to be around. True. Facts. I mean, hello. He's so right. Also, you're kind of cute. And then a bunch of emojis. But me? I remember receiving this comment and I just sat on the ground and I was like blushing to myself like I'm the Oh my god, like he's so into me. Oh my god, like this is it. I have a husband now. Parents, I'm getting married. We spoke to each other in person. We're like friendly, but he never would like say anything like this to me in person, but he said it online, so it counts. And then it kind of went downhill because a few weeks later I get another comment on the same post. So I was like, that's a little, it's a little strange. Who's commenting on my post from seven weeks ago? It's his friends. One of them was my friend at the time as well, who had a crush on me and like fourth grade, but we don't need to talk about that. So he commented, tagged his friend, and he was like, huh, look at this. The guy goes, oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew he liked her. I knew it. This motherfucker response, I used to. I'm sorry. Used to? You're telling me all this time and effort I put in to memorize logic songs has just gone down the toilet because you don't even like me anymore okay but that was also because he kind of fell in love with this other girl and like her parents were like you're not allowed to date you're in sixth grade you're not allowed to date right now and he was like no i'm all in it i will wait for you i never really talked to her but i did have this vendetta against her and i'm so sorry i ever hated you <laughs> now we're into like seventh grade my crush kind of died out i'd still see him in the hallways and be like ah, oh my god but like i didn't really care i did but i didn't really care um also i've been i had like a dream about this guy recently it really took a toll on me and my <laughs> mental health. It wasn't anything gross, he was just there and it really screwed me up. <laughs> now we're moving into freshman year of high school. Arguably one of the worst years of my life. I had zero friends, I had just gotten kicked out of my own friend group and got bullied by them. That's a whole different story. I was hitting rock bottom, like it was not good. I don't even remember this guy's name. So I don't know if that tells you the level of crush I had on this guy. It was so unnecessary. I was so bored that I was just like, yeah. It wasn't even like, I wanna date you. I was like, you're so hot, like, oh my. Oh my god. I never spoke to him in person. He was just someone I saw from afar and admired and was like, oh my god. And I looked like a rat. Like I know people say that, but genuinely I looked like a rat straight from the sewers rat and i knew it and i knew this guy wasn't gonna like me back so it was just like a thing from afar i was like you're really hot you're never gonna notice me then in one of my classes i started you know chatting it up with the girl that sat next to me we became classroom acquaintances like i'm never gonna speak to her outside of this room but while we're in here for this 40 minute block we're gonna be the best friends you know what i mean we're gonna talk about everything we're gonna talk shit about everyone and it's the most fun I've ever had in my life. So I'm talking to her one day. There was a girl that said next to us who would sometimes join in and she was asking this girl, asking her about her boyfriend. And she's like, oh yeah, it's so good. Like, nah, like my boyfriend. And I was like, oh, that's sick. Who's your boyfriend? Yeah, it was the kid I had a crush on. But also I didn't think it would be him because he was an upperclassman. So I was like, there's no way. And then I remember I was like, no, you're just ugly. Like that, just cause it would never happen to you does not mean it would not happen to other people. So yeah, then I got to listen to her for the next few months uh, talk about him. Oh my God, I love my life. I love my life. I remember thinking, I was like, of course, of course this would happen to me. Why not? Um, that's how my crush on this kid died. This one, that's how I can describe this one. It's just a big sigh. This was my sophomore year of high school. Now, if you're a friend of mine, if you're a close friend of mine, if you even just kind of knew me at one point my sophomore year, you know who the f I'm talking about. And that says a lot about me. <laughs> because even though I am the type of person to just open up to pretty much anyone that shows an interest in wanting to talk to me, I never liked anyone enough to spill my guts to everyone about that. I'm like, I'm gonna keep that part of my life private. But no, everyone knew about this. Where do I even start? This is my sophomore year of high school, literally all of my sophomore year. When I tell you I don't remember anything else from sophomore year except my crush on this guy, that should tell you something. There is so much to this story. I'm gonna summarize it, but I mean, if you like want to know more, let me know. I can do a whole story time about it. I saw so this guy in the hallway and I was like, oh my god, you're really cute. Didn't know his name, had never seen him before in my life, but he's like the cutest person I have ever seen in my entire life. So obviously I need to know more. So me being the stalker, 
me being the detective <laughs> that I am, I found out who he was. <laughs> I found his Instagram, requested to follow. He immediately accepted me and followed me back. So I was like, <sighs> It's go time. I added him on Snapchat, yanny yanny yada. I was like, you're so out of my league. Like I can't be the one to Snapchat you first. Like, nah, nah, nah. Um, and then I did because I was like, there's no way he's gonna Snapchat me. Like, what? So I snap him. We started talking. We talked only through Snapchat. I never spoke to him in person ever. And it was only really at like 2 a.m. I was staying up all, okay. <laughs> I said that other crush was my first all life consuming crush. This was my second. And it was truly all life consuming. It's all I thought about, like detrimental to my mental stability. All I would talk about, all I cared about. Sorry to all my friends you guys I guess <laughs> um, this was more important but like I said all my friends knew about it and all of my friends parents knew about it to the point where my friends parents would then like joke to me about it and I'm like my parents don't even know that I'm talking to this guy on snapchat every night at 2 a.m. and like in love with them I wasn't but like you know you can go back and watch videos from 2018 when I was a sophomore when this was all going on and I talk about him a lot there's bleeped out words usually alluding to him so embarrassing that's so embarrassing I was so down bad and the thing is he told me he watched like at least one of my videos so I was like okay I'm just gonna throw it all out there you know I'm gonna throw all these hints into my videos so like maybe he gets the hint and then hits me up and he's like <laughs> Actually, you're the sexiest person I've ever seen and we should date like now. Like I'm in love with you. I've kept it a secret for so long, but now I can finally tell you because I know you feel the same way. That didn't ever happen. <laughs> Whenever my friends would see him at school in the hallways um, or at his job, they would send me pictures of him or there was one time at his place of work, my friend walked up to him and uh, got a video of him saying hi to me. Watching the video, I don't think he realized that she was talking about me because I don't think he knew my name. It's so embarrassing. Like also he told me he loved me multiple times and I have proof. So obviously he meant it when he told me he loved me, right? I never said it back by the way, but he did tell me he loved me. <laughs> then he got a girlfriend and didn't tell me. <laughs> oh my God. Um, didn't tell me and posted a picture of them on Instagram together. And because I liked the post, all he did was Snapchat me a heart. That day, I think that day, that day me up for the rest of my life. I'm a big journaler. I have a diary. <laughs> I have multiple. Sometimes I go back and read the entry I wrote that day and it makes me cackle. It makes me laugh out loud because it's so stupid. Anyways, um, I ended up ghosting him because my parents made me block him. But yeah, um, there was also an instance, some other girl that I was like acquaintances with at school who was also talking to him at the same time. Anyways, it's just really funny and it's like a pivotal moment in my life that's actually really embarrassing but you know it had to happen at some point if you're watching i wish you the best of luck with your <laughs> let's just move let's just move on this last crush didn't last that long this was my freshman year of college <laughs> so literally this year, <laughs> literally this year, this is my most recent crush because I have not been the same since another person entered my life, but my most recent crush, every time I have a crush on someone, I can't help but f***ing talk about it. I can't shut my f***ing mouth. <laughs> like, I'm always talking. I'm always blabbing my mouth. And so like in a few vlogs, I literally mentioned this boy. Once again, another crush I, well, actually I did speak to him one time. <laughs> One time, I spoke to him one time, so um, already one up from the other few. We were in Spanish class together. He sat in the very back and I sat towards the front <laughs> by myself. I hate people. God. I wrote down, this is like a mediocre crush. Like this was literally nothing. Like it fizzled out so fast because nothing happened because I'm a wuss. Except I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not a home wrecker. Basically, we were in a Spanish class together and uh, you know, we got put in a group me together. So I was like, okay, I have your first and last name now and I know where you go to school. Let me just hop over to Instagram and stalk for a moment. This is normal, all right? Looking people up on Instagram, going through all their photos, scrolling through who they're following, like that's completely normal. So if you're sitting there and you're telling me that I'm crazy or like a stalker, you're wrong. Anyways, I look this kid up on Instagram, find his Instagram, all of his pictures have a girl in it. Um, um, <laughs> so he has a girlfriend. They like just celebrated their one year. Yes, I did go back and check. Not that I would do anything 
at all but i did go and check and then i stalked her and i was like wait this girl's like actually me one direction lover harry lover like like sindendrani like it was me <laughs> i know you're curious the one interaction we did have we left class at the same time after like an exam or something and he held the door open for me and i said thank you he didn't look at me or respond because he was staring down at his phone while he held the door open for me so he was so into me. I knew it. I could just tell. He didn't even have to say a word. My life sucks. <laughs> and now I'm just, I'm taking some time for myself. No more crushes for me. Um, I don't think I'll be dating anyone in the foreseeable future. That's just not the life for me, especially right now. Like I'm on a journey of like self-expression and like finding myself. But if Weston Corey or Carl Jacobs wanna hit me up, I will take back everything I just said. But yeah, that's it for this video. Go follow me on TikTok. It is popping over there so go check it out and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up you can subscribe down below for more videos from me bye